there you are. I have been waiting for you. It is time for our workout. Yes. Let's get started. We want to begin to declare and decree the word of the Lord into the atmosphere. Those things that line up and are in harmony with the word of the Lord. And just to think, what if the farmers did not plant seed in the ground during the springtime or whenever it is that they plant for harvest, we would be missing something vitally important to our lives. So it is, if we don't declare and decree the word of the Lord, we miss out on so much that God has for us. So we are going to do this workout today. And we're going to declare and decree the word of the Lord because we want everything that God has for us in this season. Praise God. Amen. So here we go. And this today, we're going to do it this way. I am going to declare the word of the Lord for us, for you and I. And then we're going to say, I receive. We'll make it personal. I receive. But I'm declaring it for you and I corporately like, okay? But we want to make sure we listen to what is being declared. We want to agree with it. Let's embody it. Let's taste it. Because we want God to be glorified and magnified. We want to put on muscle, you know? It's time to put on muscle. Yeah. All right. So let's get started. Let's get started. Now, these are some declarations I found online. There are so many that you can get that out there that uh, you can use. So here goes. According to 1 Corinthians 15, 58, we are steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. I receive, that's it. Let's make it personal. We receive that, yes. According to John 15, 5, we bear much fruit because we abide in Christ and he abides in us. I receive. Yes, according to 2 Corinthians 9 and 8, God always causes all grace to abound toward us, that we always, having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work I receive. According to James 1.22, we are doers and not just hearers of the word. We are doers and not just hearers of the word. I receive. Ephesians 5, 18. We are continually being filled with the Holy Spirit. I receive. Let's say that again. We are continually being filled with the Holy Spirit. I receive. Mm, yes, God. James 1, 5. God gives us wisdom generously and graciously without any criticism. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I receive. Thank you, Lord. James 3.17. We possess God's wisdom, which is pure, then peace-loving, gentle, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. I receive. Oh, yes, God. Ephesians 4, 29, 5, 19. We speak no unwholesome word, but only what is good for edification according to the need of the moment. We speak to people with uplifting and encouraging words. I receive. Oh, yes, Jesus. Ephesians 4, 31. We put away all bitterness, anger, slander, and malice. We receive. I receive. According to Philippians 4, 8, we are not critical, but our minds dwell only on what is excellent and worthy of praise. My God, that's good. We are not critical. Our minds dwell on only what is excellent and worthy of praise. I receive. According to Philippians 2.14, we do all things without complaining or disputing. 
I receive. Second Corinthians 10, 5. We take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. We take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. I receive. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. First Timothy 3, 3. We are gentle, peaceable, and free from the love of money. Oh, my God. I receive. Let's beef it up. Titus 1, 7 and 8. We're not self-willed or quick-tempered, but self-controlled. I receive. James 1, 19. I am quick to listen. We are quick to listen. Slow to speak and slow to anger. We are quick to listen. Slow to speak and slow to anger. I receive. Oh, yes, yes, yes. According to Matthew 22, 39. We love our neighbor as ourselves. We love our neighbor as ourselves. I receive. And you know what? We're going to stop right there. This is just a little, uh, little, um, hmm, I won't say that. Little time spent for much results, for awesome results, for glorious results, because they're spent, praise God, in the presence of the Lord. But now we can sense that the noise is coming into the background, the gym is being filled with other voices, so we are well, uh, out of here for the moment. All right, looking forward to you for the next workout, but don't forget, get some declarations and begin to declare them into the atmosphere. And as you're declaring them, get a sense of what they're saying. As you're declaring them, just feel and taste and see that God is good because this is your season for a breakout. God is working out of you what he put in you, praise God. You are about to be used to hit center stage. God is going to be glorified and magnified through your life. You are going to be changed. It's the will of God for you to prosper and be in good health even as your soul prosper, praise God. So you be encouraged today, praise God. All right, I look forward to see you next time around. All right.